So, what is a career path for a software architect? What are the steps you must go through in order to be considered an architect? From my own experience, and after talking with hundreds of architects, the main factor here is experience. Since there is no a formal degree or a course that qualifies you as an architect, the main factors potential employees will look for is experience, preferably in the technological field. In addition, the more senior technological role you have had, the more chance you have to be an architect. Let's look at some career path examples. All of the examples assume you've begun as a developer. For this course, it doesn't matter what you did before. So here is our first career path, going straight from developer to an architect. This is not a very common path, and it usually requires two conditions to meet. You have a lot of experience as a developer, definitely no less than three years, and your company is quite small. I see this path happens a lot in startup companies when the technical founder, often functioning as a developer, gets promoted to an architect when more developers are hired. The next path is the most common one. In this path, a developer gets promoted to a team leader and her next role is an architect. During her tenure, the team leader does a great mix of technical work and managerial work, which allows her to adopt a high-level perspective which is so important for, for an architect. When thinking of her next position, the team leader usually has to choose between a managerial path and a technical path. The managerial path will lead to a project manager position and the technical path can lead to an architect position, albeit a junior one. And again, this is a very common path, so if you are a team leader, you are on the right path. The next path is also quite common, but it leads to a senior architect role. In this path, the next stop after team leader is development manager or a CTO, depends on the company size and the titles it uses. After serving in this position for a few years, the next stop can be an architect. Usually, a CTO will become a senior architect and sometimes an enterprise architect. There is another path, but I don't see it quite often. This is the only path that does not involve technical experience and therefore I cannot say I recommend it. This path begins as a system analyst. A system analyst has an excellent understanding of the system's requirements, which is a crucial quality of an architect, but he lacks technical experience. A system analyst that would like to become an architect will usually need a long and hard training period and a lot of mentoring from experienced architects. So these are the career path for an architect. I recommend you to find out which one best describes your current career phase and prepare yourself for the next steps that will lead you to be an exceptional software architect.